What's up guys? Today I got a big project going on. I'm gonna be restoring my complete front yard. Got my landscaping hat, it's all nice and dirty. Got my sunglasses, my long sleeve ready for the sun. Let's do this. Got little Charlie over there, praying the area. So a little bit about this yard. Uh, it's been neglected for pretty much 10 years. A ton of weeds growing, barely any grass growing. So I uh, tilled the entire lawn, marked all the sprinklers, tilled everything up, you know, tore everything up pretty much. Uh, my logic behind it is hopefully I can get the weeds all gone and then plant some grass seed and hopefully that'll give it a fighting chance. So instead of 90% weeds, 10% grass, hopefully I can kind of reverse that around. But yeah, there's just a ton of garbage here. You got forks, tooth, toothpaste, floss thingy, whatever it's called. Got some shingles over there. Tilt it up, sprayed some glossophate on it. Had to wait about a month and a half because I've just been so busy at work. But unfortunately, I've waited too long. And as you can see, some weeds are growing back. So now I got to go dig this up, dig all the weeds out, lay some topsoil down, plant some new seed. All right, here we go. to get dust out but gotta get the footage for y'all so Now, oh buddy, got dirt in my eyes and everything. Oh yeah, I finally made it back. Yeah, I definitely should probably look into getting some airbags. My truck is definitely squatting right now, looking like a low rider. There it is, there's the dirt. Got dirt everywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. I'm gonna level out the whole entire front yard. There's a bunch of little dips everywhere. and I mean, there's a few weeds here and there. I'm, uh, I'll probably just scoop them out. Take the, you know, shovel, pop them back out. Couldn't get everything because there's just so many of them, but you know, I figure we can do the most, do the best we could.
Now I'm just going along, throwing the new topsoil on. I'm trying to rake all the existing dirt, I'm trying to get, you know, most of what I have leveled already. And then I'm just laying this top new topsoil on, leveling it out with the rake, and then doing my final touches with the broom. And then you also got to make sure that uh, you forget to leave the bag of seeds in your truck, even though the guy at the store told you not to leave a bag of seeds outside in the hot sun. So you want to make sure you put that away because you don't want to risk your seeds spoiling. As you can see, I'm just leveling out the existing dirt with the metal rake trying to get the best I can. I mean, you're not gonna get it perfectly level. That's why you got the extra topsoil. Now I'm raking it out, leveling out the new topsoil. Gotta do a little dance there. Gotta dance in the topsoil, you know, show it some love so it would grow. And like I said before, this is just, I don't have any leveling equipment. So this is what my leveling equipment is. It's a little broom, works just fine. You just gotta kind of learn how to work with it. So I leveled everything out went ahead and turned on the sprinklers. That way it kind of pushes the topsoil down, kind of packs it in nice, kind of shows you where you need to fill in some more dirt. I do need to dig up that line over there still, fill up some more dirt. Um, it's also a really, really good way to see where your sprinklers are hitting and what spots are not getting any water. Um, as you can see, it's, this is light gray right here. For some reason, this little edge right here is not getting hit. Uh, I probably have a sprinkler some here buried or something. Or maybe I just need to adjust the sprinklers. But yeah, everywhere else is pretty nice and dark. So now is the time to adjust all your sprinklers and take this, take the extra step to take care of all this before you plant the grass seed down. So I'm gonna have to figure this little patch out because that's a pretty big, Pretty big dry spot. You know, I don't wanna lay seed just yet till I get that figured out. Now I'm gonna seed quite a bit, just cause of uh, last time I did the uh, recommended seeding by pound or whatever and grass grew but not enough i'm gonna i'm gonna see a little more than i probably should but um definitely not gonna overcrowd it and stuff it and whatnot just because of uh you seed a little bit too much then uh you don't really give it any space to grow so let me try to find that fine line there she is isn't she beautiful? Some Kentucky blue. Isn't she beautiful? No, no. Uh, let's get going on this. Got my Scott's feeder right here. I'm gonna try. Let's do this. You know what? Let's, let's do this on a three setting first. We'll start slow. Work our way up. Kinda. Oh yeah.
Start with that first. Let's see, I'm gonna turn the edge on. Hit the edges out first. Lock this, should be good to go. It is fertilizer time. Now I'm gonna use this just because it has the weed preventer. Uh, a lot of people say, you know, oh, use Tenacity or whatever, but I didn't have time to order Tenacity. I didn't have time to lay that down. So I'm just gonna go with this for now. Um, I may be dumb. I think I probably just dumb, but it doesn't really have any instructions on how much you should put down. But I figured, I figure this bag says that it covers 5,000 square feet. I got roughly 2,000 in the front yard. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a little less than half this bag. Cause you know, half 5,000 is 2,500. I got 2,000 square feet. So I'm just go ahead and use around half, a little less than half this bag. It says to put it on four and a half. Uh, it says to put on four and a half for the uh, rotary spreaders. Um, I don't know if they're talking about one like this or maybe the push cart ones, but about to find out. Time for the peat moss. There she is right there. Got three bags. Hopefully this is enough. So here's the peat moss. Man, this stuff is so weird. It's, it's super compressed, so it's kind of hard to grab. So I'm going to take the shovel and kind of try to break it up a little bit. And then uh, just kind of... Just want to kind of gently sprinkle it on there you want it to cover the seeds and everything but I mean you don't want it too thick or else the seeds might have problems pushing through but this is this is gonna help retain the moisture especially now it's in the 90s it's really really hot it'll help retain some of the water some of the moisture and it'll keep keep the birds from eating all the seeds up so uh, I looked online a lot of people a lot of mixed reviews on this stuff, but I used this before and I had really good success with it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what this is, truthfully, to be honest with you. It, I looked it up online. It said it was some kind of like mushroom fungus or something like that. It smells like dookie, to be honest with you.
All right, you guys. There you have it. All seated. Got peat moss on there. Now it's just time to water the hell out of it. Oof. Look at that rainbow. Oof. So now you gotta soak the hell out of it. One, because the seed's there and you want it to germinate. So for the next week or so, you want it to be really, really moist. You don't want to overwater it and wash everything away. You don't want to drown it, but you definitely want to keep it real moist. Some spots right there that I missed. I probably should have put some more peat moss. I probably laid down a little bit more after. But uh, watering will kind of help it all compact together so it doesn't just fly away. So after you're done laying peat moss down, you definitely want to do, definitely want to water it. Like first thing you want to do is water it. Yeah, I got stuff all on my nose, everywhere. But uh, these sprinklers have been here for about 10 years. So I'm gonna go over here, kind of just gauge it, watch it a little bit, you know, adjust it if I need to. Now I know there's one dry spot somewhere around here. Um, it's probably something to do with the sprinklers. I need probably need to adjust it, like I said, but for now, I am actually gonna grab a garden hose, just kind of hand water it for a little bit. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna be monitoring this all day for the next few days. You know, I'm gonna water it, go back out here in an hour or so, kind of check it out and see uh, you know, see if it's too dry, too wet, all that good stuff. And there you guys have it. That was pretty much it. Very, very simple. Just takes a little bit of labor. Uh, so just want to give you guys a quick rundown on the steps real fast. So first you want to get rid of all of the weeds, existing weeds, did grass, grass, whatever is in there, garbage, debris, get rid of all of that before you do anything. And then um, you want to go through with the shovel or rake level out the entire existing area the topsoil that you have now and then you want to grab new topsoil which you don't necessarily need to but in my case i felt like i i needed it just because my lawn was so old and it definitely helps a lot so grab a new topsoil rake it down you know spread it out rake it out try to level it out the best you can you know i was using a broom they have the leveling tools that you can use but you know, the broom works just fine. You just gotta kinda learn how to work with it a little bit. So level your lawn out. Then after you level it out to what you think is good, you know, you gotta tamp it down as well. I forgot to say that. Tamp it down, you can do that just by stepping on it. Another good way to kinda let that new topsoil settle is if you just water it a little bit and that water will kinda compress it down. Um, it also helps if it's windy and it's dry and dust is flying everywhere. It kinda helps that new topsoil to just settle down real nicely. Then after you're done with that, then all you gotta do is seed. You don't wanna put too much seed. You don't want a big clump of seed cause that would definitely not grow. But you know, if you're doing an entire new lawn, you want a lot of seed. You know, I know a lot of guys say, oh, you, you need this and this for this much square feet. You know, you gotta use this certain rule. You gotta do these calculations. Well, I didn't do any calculations at all besides my fertilizer. Um, you know, I just knew that this was a bare land and it needed a ton of seeds. I didn't over over seed it. I didn't seed it too much, but I seeded it just enough to where I, I thought, you know, okay, this would probably fill in nice and thickly. And um, after you lay that seed down, you can go ahead and throw the starter fertilizer on. Now I use the scotch just because it has the weed preventer, which, you know, you're probably going to get weeds anyway. It's kind of inevitable, but it does help the cause, it helps the grass grow a little faster. And then the last and final step, which I, I highly recommend, is throwing a little bit of peat moss over it. You don't want a thick layer, you know, you're probably throwing, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch or something like that over it. And then, um, and that's it. And then you can just keep watering it. And now you don't need peat moss. I should say that you don't need peat moss. I've also seen some people do it with just a thin layer of topsoil. Um, that works just fine as long as so you got your bottom top soil you got the seed fertilizer right and then you got the peat moss 
or topsoil on top of that and you're kind of just making like a sandwich so that helps the uh helps the seed grow quite a bit now you don't want like i said you don't want to put too much over it or else the the seed will have problems trying to push up but that was it um you know if you guys got any other questions if you guys want to throw your guys' tips in there you know i'm still i'm still learning as well so if you guys want to throw your tips comment down below make sure to like the video subscribe somewhere i'm gonna put it here i'm gonna put it there somewhere everywhere i don't know where i'm gonna subscribe button but subscribe because you're gonna want to see the before and after well this is the before but you guys are going to want to see the after because the transformation from this is pretty incredible and you guys are going to want to see it don't miss out all right see you guys